This is the cheapest MacBook Air. Can we upgrade the internals in this to make this an even better deal? Let's find out. And while we're finding out, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, iFixit. First off, where can we even go to finding the parts for this? So first up, let's start with Apple themselves. If you wanted to replace the battery or if you wanted to replace the solid state drive, could you do that from Apple? And if we go first to the Apple Mac service and repair website, we will see that we can do the battery service if Apple deems it needing to be replaced, and it might be covered by the warranty, consumer law, or Apple Care Plus. Um, but if it's out of warranty, here's how much it would cost us to do this through Apple. 11 inch MacBook Air, which this is, it would be $129 to replace the battery. Let's see what we can get over on Amazon. 11 inch MacBook Air battery. Ninja Bat, looks like you could find it for about $49, $40, $42. I I don't know, some of these seem $19.99? It looks cheap, and that looks fine, but man, that looks... Le okay, so it's not lithium ion, it's lithium polymer. I'm not enough of a battery expert to really know the difference on that. So let's go to today's sponsor, the iFixit website, and let's see what they've got. Okay, so we have the early 2014. I like that they've got all of these different options in here, and then they'll give you guides for a whole bunch of replacement parts. Now, one thing I wanna make a quick note of, iFixit is sponsoring today's video. However, they're only sponsoring the ad read that you'll see at a certain point of this video. They're not actually sponsoring the content of today's video, but I'm a huge fan of theirs. I've been using their tools for a very long time, and I wanna just make that note clear here that I like this stuff so much that I'm making a video about their replacement parts without them paying me to make the dedicated video. So think about that. Okay, so we, first up, let's see what the battery. So they give us the steps for how to replace the battery. Difficulty moderate, steps five, but let's see about the parts. So their MacBook Air 11 inch battery uh, comes for $83.99 with a fixed kit or just the part only is $59.99. Okay, that seems pretty good. In the fix kit, you'll get, what do we get for the fix kit? You get the tips and the driver, which is pretty good. Like I said, I've been using an iFixit toolkit for years at this point. 5,100 milliamp hour battery, watt hours 38.75, comes with a one year warranty from iFixit. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so we can get this for $59.99. I think that's a really good deal to fix the over 500 cycles that this thing's been through, but the 128 gigabyte solid state drive in here is also really small and uh, that's not enough. That's not for modern operating systems, that will never be enough. Go back to the 11 inch MacBook Air and I like how they sort this by devices. So you can see your specific one and then it gives you all of the things in here. Okay, difficulty moderate, steps five, time required 10 to 15. Um, but then they also have the parts. So you can do the upgrade bundle for 200 bucks for a 240 gigabyte solid state drive. You can go up to a two terabyte solid state drive. Man, that would be so sweet putting a two terabyte solid state drive in one of these tiny little things. So $199.99 uh, to get an M.2 sort of solid state drive. But I know Apple does really weird things with their controllers on these older SSDs. So with this kit, you get the Aura Pro 2 solid state drive, external SSD enclosure if you want it the spudger, bit driver, and all the tools you would need. Okay, or you could just buy the SSD itself for a hundred bucks. So it is fairly expensive for solid state drive, but unfortunately, like we said, you need specific stuff to work on this. Again, I'd like to thank iFixit for sponsoring this video. iFixit doesn't only cover MacBooks. There are a ton of different kinds, styles, and different sorts of products that iFixit will help you repair on your own. iFixit's all-in-one fix kits have the high quality parts and tools that you need to fix your iPhone, laptops, game consoles like the Nintendo Switch, even smartwatches. Combined with their free step-by-step -step repair guides, you'll have everything you need to do battery swaps, SSD upgrades, and more. Find your fix at the link below and use Everyday Dad to get started on your repairs today. Ooh, okay, and through the magic of video editing, I've actually got all the parts here right now. You only had to wait a couple of seconds. I'm the one that had to wait for this stuff to ship. So let's start off with the solid state drive kit itself. So again, MacBook Air, 240 gigabyte, pull tab to open. Do I have to? Nope, I don't have to listen to your instructions. Ooh, comes with some paper. Well, that's kind of, that's kind of fun. That's kind of some fun stuff. And we get the, okay, here's the tools. Here's the iFixit kit. And then what is this? Okay, the enclosure we talked about, if you wanted to turn this into like an external solid state drive instead of replacing it, you could do it this way. And then here's all the cables 
and tools for that. That's really cool that they include all of that stuff. And I got my toolkit out ready to go for this. So we are only going to use the tools that they provide for these upgrade kits. I'm not going to use my own fancy kit that I've got here at the house. Zoop. Okay. And that definitely looks like an M.2 solid state drive. Boom. We will not be messing with that until it is time to install it. Now we've got the MacBook Air replacement battery. Okay, pop, pop. Boom. Okay, battery calibration. Bits in driver handle. How cool, hold on. How cool is that? Holy cow, that is really neat. Okay, so the tool you get here, it is made of plastic. It's not as nice as the one included in like their tool kits, but it looks like it's perfectly usable. But the fact that you get an option that just takes all the guesswork out of it, it's like, here's all the tools you need. It's like Ikea, but for uh, fixing your technology. Since I've never actually done this before, I've never popped open a MacBook. I've never replaced any parts on a MacBook. I am gonna pull up the guide that iFixit has. So let's start with the battery, I guess. Step one, the lower case. Actually, step one's probably, oh yeah, shut down your computer. <laughs> probably should have looked at that part first. Okay, let's shut this sucker down. These screws are coming off surprisingly easy. I have a feeling the wholesaler I bought this from probably was doing some shenanigans under the hood. Step two, wedge your fingers between the display and the lower case to pop the lower case right here. Whoo, look at that. There is the insides of the MacBook Air. Ooh, it's so, it is dirty. What did they do to this thing to make it so dirty on the inside? But that is really, really cool. There's the solid state drive that we're gonna swap out here in a second. Here is the Wi-Fi chip, the fan. Remember when MacBook Airs had fans? Step three, battery connector. So we need the spudger here. Just pop this off. There we go. Okay, we have detached the battery. And this tool works fantastic, by the way. Okay, we've removed those. Then we can avoid squeezing or touching the six exposed lithium polymer cells. Lift the battery from its nearest edge. Okay, here is the Apple battery that came with it, designed by Apple in California. Lithium ion battery. And I guess we'll just do the steps in reverse to reinstall it. So here's our new battery. Assume we wanna take off, much like when we unbox something, we want to take off plastic from the screen, but this is plastic from a battery. I fix it replacement battery. Pretty sweet stuff. Okay, let's set it down. Boom, man. And there we go. We have replaced the battery in my cheapest MacBook Air. That was so easy. Holy crap. Okay, now let's go to their guide for the solid state drive, which I assume is just unscrewing and then plugging it back in, but it's Apple. It's probably more complicated than it needs to be. We've already removed the lower case. We can skip these couple of steps. Battery connector. They want us to disconnect the battery. Remove the single Torx screw. Step five, lift the free end just enough to get a good hold on it. Then pull straight out and remove it. It's just like removing a solid state drive from any kind of a laptop. Look at that thing though, that is, it's made by SanDisk. Must be one of the vendors for Apple. No kidding, I love little things like this inside of laptops. And then yeah, just we'll do the, uh, the opposite to reinstall. The OWC 240 gigabytes, all right. Boom, reinstalled. And that's just how easy it is to upgrade solid state drive. So if you own a laptop that has the ability to have M.2 drives installed in it, it took 10 seconds. Like that's how easy this stuff is. It's so crazy easy that you should not spend money on OEM's very, very expensive memory. You should do this yourself, but on current M1 MacBooks, you cannot do that, unfortunately. Let's button this back up and see if uh, it turns on. If Gary did not brick his brand new, almost brand new, brand new to me, MacBook Air. I love this, by the way, just having all the bits right in the base of this thing. This is essentially all of the power I need to do my daily word processing, browsing the web tasks, but it takes up so much less space than any other MacBook. And it does actually have Mac OS, unlike something like an iPad, no matter how much they put into iPad OS, it's never gonna be Mac OS. So if you need Mac OS, it's just time to pull that Band-Aid off. Here we go, will it turn on? No, it turned on, did you hear it? Every time I go to stand up, the, Ma the MacBook Air turns on. It did it in the unboxing video too. It's just when I go to stand up, it's like, well, you know, 
Gary decided to stand up, let's turn on. Okay, something I didn't realize when we installed the solid state drive is, obviously, it does not have macOS installed on it at all. So what we need to do is we need to create a bootable disk, which, when's the last time you used a USB dongle? So anyway, we have to create an installer for macOS Big Sur on this thing. We need to erase it, yes. When this is done, we will reinstall the solid state drive and then boot macOS Big Sur from this stick, then install it on the new solid state drive. It's a little more complicated than I initially thought it was gonna be. I thought we could just put in the solid state drive and then reinstall macOS straight from recovery, but it doesn't work out that way. There are a couple of extra steps we have to go through. Okay, we've got our bootable disk, so let's turn this back off and we will be ready to go. Didn't even bother screwing it all back together because I knew we would have to do this again super quick. So it's almost like there was a plan. SSD back in and we will not screw everything down uh, until we are doubly sure it is all working. Boom, and now it sees the brand new hard drive. So we will install Mac OS Big Sur on here. It's only gonna take another forever. We've been waiting around for like an hour to install all of this stuff. So it's a little bit longer than the five minutes it says on the website. Yes, technically it only took us five minutes to transfer the solid state drives, but there is some prep you're going to have to do to make sure you actually get your operating systems. Okay. feels like a hot minute later, but we finally have Mac OS Big Sur installed on the computer. So all I want to really do is I want to check the battery. I want to check the solid state drive and let's see if all of this stuff actually worked. Okay, so let's see here about this Mac. See, we still got the same memory. Startup disk is the OWC uh, Aura storage. We have now doubled 240 gigabytes available. I love that. Uh, let's go to battery. Okay, we pull up the system information. We can go down to, where is it at? We've got the brand new battery. You can see the manufacturer is iFixit and the cycle count is two. Team, we did it. We upgraded the cheapest MacBook Air we could get. And I do think that you could totally do the same with your older MacBook Pro, your older MacBook Air. You could breathe new life into your device and it wasn't all that hard. It took us a couple of minutes. We did have to do some prep on the operating system, but the actual physical install did not take that long. And I think it's something that you should totally look into. And if you like this video, click here to see the video on the cheapest MacBook Air. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.